Hi everybody, or should I say hi both of you. At any rate, yesterday I tweeted that I was having trouble getting my iPad to work with Finale on my uh, laptop. Uh, and it's supposed to be able to do it, so I, I was confused. It took me all day. When I finally did get it, I tweeted, yay, I got it. And several people tweeted back and said, tell me how you did it. I've been trying for months and I can't make it work. So I'm going to show you. But it's a real pain in the ass, which is you know why it took so long. All right, here's the thing. Uh, on the iPad, the program that I'm using is called Pianist Pro. Pianist Pro is made by a company called Moo Cow Music. So click on Pianist Pro, say hello to Pianist Pro, and you're gonna go in, on, uh, click on the settings button here, and now click the help button, and go to MIDI control. When you go to MIDI control, you're gonna look at uh, OSC or DSMI. Now DSMI is really easy to use, and it also is very buggy and slow, so I don't recommend it. OSC is what you want to use. Uh, so tap here to find out more about OSC. And then when you get here, you're going to need to create this script file. So just tap right on this, the here, you'll tap on that, and it'll build a script file on the computer, and then it'll say it did it. I'm not going to do it now because I did it yesterday. Um, and then you can get out of the help file. So that's all you're going to need to worry about on the iPad for a minute. Now, uh, go to iTunes, if you will, and look at your, uh, uh, your iPad click over here and then click on apps like this and you're gonna come down and you're gonna see uh, your Pianist Pro there click on that and it will bring up this whole list of documents that you can see here and at the bottom of that list there's that pure data file that you just built that script file is there it says save to I chose to save it to my applications folder and then I moved it into the doc because you're gonna need it as you see every time that you try and do this nonetheless that's where I saved it okay that's the last time you need to use your iTunes now you're going to go to Safari and you're going to go to a website called puredata.info. Puredata.info is the company that makes this free uh, thing called Pure Data. And Pure Data serves as like a cable between your iPad and your uh, laptop that functions wirelessly. So click over here at Download PD and then just go right down if you're like me you just click on the mac os x intel because that's the kind of computer i have or, you know i presume this all works the same way if you use the power pc don't bother going to this one down here the snow leopard one or the universal that's all too geeky and wonky for you trust me if you need to watch this video you're not ready for those so that's uh that's that so download it once you download it uh you'll see it come up like this take this and move it right over here into your applications folder. That's what it'll do. And as you can see, it's here already. There it is. That's where it's waiting. So I'm not going to do it again because I've already done that. Um, oh, stop it. I am not. Uh, okay, get rid of that thing. Now, uh, we're going to now open it by using that script file that we made earlier. So go to that pianistpro.pd thing that you put into your applications folder and then I put into my doc and click on that. And it's going to open up PD Extended, which is this thing. Keep it open. It's both of these windows. Keep them here. You can see they're very scary and wonky. Don't worry about them for right now. You'll need them in a minute. Now, let's go to Finale. Hi, Finale. Uh, when we get to Finale, we want to go to MIDI Audio here. And then we want to go to Device Setup and go to MIDI slash Internal Speaker Setup. The first thing we need to do is now click down here on Audio MIDI Setup and then go to show MIDI window. When you get to the show MIDI window, this is one of the most important parts. This thing is called the IAC driver. When I first opened the MIDI studio, the IAC driver was grayed out like these guys are because apparently by default, the IAC driver is turned off. So double click on it and then click device is online and then close it back up. For some reason, when I did this yesterday, the IIC driver stayed grayed out as though it were still off, and I couldn't make it work, and it drove me crazy. And then I quit the audio MIDI setup, I reopened it, and this time, miraculously, the IIC driver worked. So in case you have that bug, that's what was going on with that. Now, that's all you need to know about the IIC driver. As you can see, it says bus one, and those are the connectors for bus one, and that's all you need to know. You can also build other buses, but you're not gonna need them. All you need right now is bus one. So that's fine, close that thing up. You can close up the MIDI studio. Now you're back here in Finale on this MIDI setup window. And under input device, you'll see IAC driver bus one. Click that, you're good to go there. Now, uh, uh, here's something you're gonna need to know now. 
uh, go back to your iPad and click on MIDI and you'll see this now you'll see that under type I've chosen OSC if you tap on that it'll change it to DSMI but keep it on OSC and then you're gonna need to do the host IP address here how do you find your host IP address this you actually have to get from your laptop so let's go back to the laptop for a second go under your wireless uh, thing up here and go to open network preferences when you go here go to advanced Go to TCP IP, and this number right here, the IPv4 address, 10.01.8, in my case, it won't be that for you, that's the, uh, that's the number that you're going to need to copy and put over here, vroom, type it into your iPad. Leave the port the way it is, you can leave the MIDI controls, all that. There are two lights that should be on, on and transmit. You don't need your receive on. Then once all that's done, say goodbye. That's the last you need to worry about that, let's hope. Now you click back. All right, now there's one last thing to configure, and that is the pure data. When I was really stuck yesterday, part of the reason was nobody tells you how to configure pure data. So I had to figure it out, and it's a, a drag. One of the main reasons it's a drag is because every time you open pure data, you're going to have to reconfigure it. So keep in mind how this is working, unless one of you can tell me how to keep this uh, or build a script that'll always do this. Uh, under the PD extended uh, window, you'll see preferences. Go to MIDI settings. It says input device. Go to that IAC driver bus one. Output device, same thing, bus one. Click apply. Click OK. That should all be running now. You'll see in this window, it says there's things you can change the port and do all that. Don't, don't do that. Just leave it alone. Um, now, here's two other things I did in the PD window that I probably didn't have to do and may even come back to bite me in the ass one day, but I was just tapping anything at this point in the night, so I hit anything. One is that I changed the in and the out windows, uh, both to one, I don't know what that does, and then I also clicked compute audio. I don't know what that does either. They may be entirely unnecessary if somebody wants to figure it out and tell me. So now, if I've done all this right, I should be able now, oh my God, this is the moment of truth, to go to finale, click into here, and tap on this and it should make a sound which it did and now I have gotten it all to work so what I recommend is to find out uh, turn off the volume on your iPad so you're not confused about where the sound is coming from and now you have configured uh, your thing to work wirelessly uh, with your uh, with your laptop like I said the biggest drag is that you can't save what you're doing in pure data and so you'll have to reconfigure it every time that's the whole story i hope it helped you and i wish somebody had left a video like this for me before yesterday good luck